there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for episode number 11 of FIFA 16 players to watch out for in career mode. This is of course a series where I bring you 10 players who should be absolutely awesome on FIFA 16 career mode based on their FIFA 15 potentials but also more importantly their performances in real life. Of course the ratings have been released now for FIFA 16 so I can bring you with a bit more accuracy the players who I do believe are going to be absolutely awesome on the game. If we could smash 50 likes on this episode of players to watch out for that would be absolutely absolutely massively appreciated this could well be the final episode of this series we'll have to see how that one goes uh, but first of all the first player we've got is Bruno Perez now this guy is actually fairly old despite looking extremely young in his picture as you can see he's very pacey though 89 acceleration uh, 90 odd sprint speed really good agility as well as stamina uh, reactions aggression ball control dribbling uh, very good long shots 82 shot power and 76 long shots he's actually going to be a right back on FIFA 16 and he's going to be 79 overall at 25 years of age which which means he probably won't grow too much, maybe to about 82, 83, but he's going to be very pacey and he's going to have insane long shots. High attacking work rate as well with three star week for three star skill moves from Brazil playing for Torino in the Serie A. He is someone definitely to watch out for, although he is slightly older. Next up though, we've got this mouthful, Bartlemy Dragovski, who plays for Jagalonia Bialystok, I do believe. Bial Bialystok? I'm not entirely sure. It's basically, it's a team in the Polish league. If you don't know the spelling, just look out for the team that has Jag at the start of its name if you're looking for the team. This guy is 69 overall on FIFA 15 and only 16 years of age. Pointed out to me a few episodes ago in the comment section. This guy looks absolutely insane. He's been bumped up again to 71 at 17 years of age for FIFA 16. So this guy is going to be the next Simone Scuffe. This is going to be the Simone Scuffe of FIFA 16. Ridiculously young and a really good overall stat for such a young player. So he's definitely someone to look out for. Next up though we've got Matteo Kovacic. Another suggestion. This guy plays for Inter Milan on FIFA 15 but has just recently signed for Real Madrid in quite a humble dinger of a deal. Um, so this guy is definitely someone that you'll probably already know. He's got really good acceleration as well as agility, actually, interestingly enough. Very good physical page in general. Uh, good ball control, dribbling as well as long passing, curve and short passing. Uh, he's got the dribbler speciality, I do believe. He's 76 stat on FIFA 14. Uh, sorry, FIFA 15. Uh, he's 20 years of age, from Croatia. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, medium attacking and defensive work rate. Just a very good all-round centre mid. But of course, you won't be able to buy him in the first season. Uh, first transfer window, sorry, on FIFA 16 Karimas. But certainly someone who will have mad potential. Next up, though, we've got another under-the-radar fullback, and it's Fuka Artur Masuaku of Olympiakos. 71 stat on FIFA 15, but he's going to be 75 stat on FIFA 16, and he's only 21 years of age. So he should have about 83, 84 potential, but I would have thought it would be fairly cheap because he plays in a, in a league like in the like the Greek League. He's got really good speed as well as agility, balance, uh, ball control, shot power, stand tackling as well. He plays a left mid or a left wing back as well. High attacking work rate from France, but playing in the Greek League for Olympiakos and certainly someone who might be very cheap to get on FIFA 16 and as a fullback. Next up though we've got Jairo Riedewald or Jairo Riedewald, I'm not entirely sure, from Ajax. He's a CDM on this game but he's actually going to be a centre back for FIFA 16. He's a 67 stat on FIFA 15 but he's going to be 75 overall on FIFA 16 and he's only 18 on FIFA 16. He is going to be absolutely insane. He's literally going to have about 85, 86, maybe even like 88 potential. As you can see decent sprint speed, jumping strength as well at such a young age. Three star week for two-star skill moves, can play as a centre defensive mid or a left back, but clearly as a centre back as well. He's from the Netherlands playing for Ajax in the Eredivisie. Someone who's going to have insane potential. Next up though, we've got Robert Beric of Rapid Vienna on FIFA 15, but he's just signed for St Etienne in League 1, having scored 23 goals, and he believe in 37 appearances. This guy's got the best record in this episode. He's going to be 74 stat as well on FIFA 16, so a four stat upgrade too. He's going to be 24 on FIFA 16. He's from Slovenia. High attacking work rate, obviously a strike at 74 stat, as I said. Three star weak foot, two star skill moves but pretty decent sprint speed really good strength as well as jumping attack position ball control finishing and shot power but I suggest his finishing will probably increase a little bit given he scored so many goals last season in the Austrian league next up though another bit of a hidden gem this is Bernard Mensah someone who had no stat really whatsoever no decent overall at the start of FIFA 15 he got a massive upgrade towards the end of FIFA 15 and he's going to be insane on FIFA 16 as well he's 75 stat I do believe on FIFA 16 as well correct me if I'm wrong he's on loan at Hetafe though from Atletico Madrid who we recently signed for so he won't be able to get him in the first season but look at his physical stats they're really good acceleration agility sprint speed dribbling ball control he's 75 stat and he's going to be 20 on FIFA 16 three star week for three star skill moves high attacking work rate from Ghana um, and he can play as an attacking mid or a left mid he should hopefully have about 84 85 potential on FIFA 16 you wait for a goalkeeper for ages and then two of them come along at the same time this is the second goalkeeper of this episode it's Jan Oblak of Atletico Madrid again just a really solid goalkeeper 77 overall on FIFA 
for 15. And to be honest with you, I don't actually know what overall he's going to be on FIFA 16, but it's either going to be the same or better than his stat now. And whatever the scenario, he's going to have at least 85 potential on FIFA 16, I would have thought, even if he stays a 77 stat. Now you can see he's another player from Slovenia like Robert Beric earlier on. Uh, Three-star weak foot, one-star skill moves, as you would expect from a goalkeeper, but really good goalkeeping, kicking, uh, positioning, handling their 83 and reflexes as well. They're a the Slovenian playing for Atletico Madrid in the Liga BBVA. But next up, we've got another player that I'm pretty sure you will never have heard of, unless you're based in Portugal. And this is Fabio Sturgeon. He's 71 stat attacking mid who plays for... Oh, God, I've forgotten who he plays for. I can't remember. I will put it in the description. Look at, look out for it in the description. I think it's Belenenses. I think he plays for in the Portuguese League or Liga Portuguesa. He uh, can play as an attacking mid or a striker. 21 years of age. He's going to be on FIFA 16. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves with high attacking work rate. However, he's going to be 77 overall on FIFA 16. Don't know why he's got such a massive upgrade. He started as a bronze on FIFA 15, but he's gone just full massive mode and ended up being a 77 stat gold on FIFA 16. So he's going to be decent on Ultimate Team, but very good on career mode as well. 77 stat, 21 years of age. But next up, the final player in this episode, and it's another Ajax defender. It is Kenny Tete, and another Ajax defender who's been given a massive upgrade. Another 75 stat player, 10 stat upgrade for Kenny Tete, the right back. And look at that, he's only been 19 on on FIFA 16, so 75 stat, 19, he's going to have about 85 of potential, really good acceleration as well, sprint speed, jumping, strength, aggression, and the defensive stats too, from the Netherlands, playing for Ajax in the Eredivisie, can play as a right back, 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, and medium defensive and attacking work rate, but he's going to be 75 stat on FIFA 16, so there you go, that is pretty much it, I think for me in terms of players to watch out for, uh, this series is pretty much done, I hope anyway, I'll, I'll be able to elaborate that on that more, hopefully in the coming days, if that is the case. Um, but nevertheless, I hope you have enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like if you did. There's some absolutely insane hidden gems in there. Bernard Mensa, Fabio Sturgeon, Teti, Reed of Old. Uh, oh man, absolutely insane. And Dragovski looks as if he's going to be the best goalkeeper on FIFA 16 Karimo. Playing in the Polish League as well. So you might even be able to get him for pretty cheap as well. But again, as I said, if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here as well. And comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. As well as your maybe your favourite player from this series so far who you're, who you're looking forward to most even to using in FIFA 16 Karimo but nevertheless it's been a pleasure running at you guys today have a good day enjoy yourselves and goodbye